Yo, what's good? It's Alex, newest member of the collective. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this experimental sample. So first of all, I want to talk about the chord progression. What I did was a five and a six. So if you don't know music theory, that's fine. Essentially, it's a five, which is a minor, which is in this case, a G sharp minor. I'm in the key of C sharp minor. And then I went up to an A major, which is the sixth chord of the scale. If you don't understand so far, it's fine. I'm going to break everything down. So the first sound is from the aperture kit by five and X, Y sounds like this. and then it just repeats. So this takes the chord progression that I mentioned earlier, which is a G sharp minor, with the G sharp, B, and the D sharp, and then I go up to the A, and then the main melody here is I'm playing this descending pattern with these unique slides. So to make these slides work, I have these in different color. So because this is in a different color, it won't affect these notes, but it will affect the F sharp right here. So I'll play the lead alone. And then I copied the pattern to this, which is from the same multi kit. And I deleted the top line, except for here. And it sounds like this. So it just adds a bit of layers. And then I added a bell from the same multi kit. It sounds like this. So yeah, it's just the same chord progression, strumming the notes and adding these filler notes right here. Now the main layer sounds like this. Now for the effects for this main layer, it's just some reverb and some imaging for both of them. But then the glockenspiel, I added a portal, which doesn't show for some reason, but I believe it's from my upcoming portal bank and then some other stuff, including Panman. Then I went and added this lead. And for the lead is just some reverb and some delay. And then I add this pretty cool run. So far, all of these sounds are from the Aperture Multi Kit. And for this sound again, it's super simple, some reverb, and this super cool delay plugin from Waves. And then I added this accent pluck. Very basic pluck, adding some reverb, some delay from Timeless again, and this EQ. Then I felt like this really needed a lead, so I added this. It's a synth from the Aperture Kit again. So yeah, it's kind of like a sliding lead pattern, really catchy, and adding this note at the end actually accents it pretty well. I just added some reverb on this, and this portal, this is from my upcoming portal bank. Then I went to Analog Lab, found this coordinate preset, and played these arpeggios, which are just the chords. And this is linked to this chain, which has some delay and some reverb. And then I add this pluck bass with no effect to sound like this. So just following the root notes of the chords and adding this little accent. With these type of melodies, I really like adding this double pattern and even right here having a double. And then I add a decapitator on the E preset, boosting the drive quite a bit, and then EQing the highs. Now it sounds like this. Sounds much more saturated and a lot better. And then I added this perk clip that I chopped up. So 
but this is kind of a simplified perk loop of the real perk loop, which I didn't chop up and plays in the B section. So it's really just this section right here that changes from the A part to the B part. And then I added these vocals from Sunday Service, pitching it down two semitones to fit the key, and they sound like this with effects. So these had a lot of effects already, but basically the main effect that I added here was a Soothe 2. For some reason it won't open, but basically how you use Soothe 2 is you locate the resonance and eliminate it. And then the last thing for the A section is this crackle noise, which also plays in the B section. So now the A part sounds like this. Okay, so now for the B section, I want to go for a more synthy vibe. So I played these long chords with vocoder and then CS80. The first patch is a scary hours preset. It sounds like this. So basically, the chords, if I can break it down, it's just a G sharp minor and then I add seven, which is the seventh note of the key. And I add a little arpeggio going up to the A major which in this case is just a normal A major, and then add the sixth of the key. And then again, add an arpeggio back to here. And then add the youth preset from CS80, which is the same pattern as a vocoder, except the arpeggio sounds like this. And the last pad is a liquid square, which is a much more unique pad, sounds like this. And then I went for a more synthy bass, less of a pluck, which is the Deathly bass from Ember One Shot Kit by Steven Schaefer. I played this pattern. And then I added some Decapitator, boosting it quite a bit. And some parts of the A section I kept to the B section, which includes the run, the pluck, the synth, and the arpeggios. And for these sounds of the B section, I didn't have any effects because it sounds pretty full on its own. And CS80 does a pretty job to add its own effects. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what other tutorials you all want in the comments. And make sure to like and subscribe if you liked the video. Peace.